Our lesson 2 for this week, describing the attributes, properties of triangles and quadrilaterals using concrete objects or models. First, a triangle is a simple closed curve or a polygon which is created by three line segments. A triangle is a shape or a part of two-dimensional space. It has three straight sides and three vertices. The three angles of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. It is a polygon with the least possible number of a sides. So, a triangle is a kind of a polygon with a least number of sides. So, what is a triangle? So, a triangle is a simple closed curve or polygon which is created by three line segments. So, one, two, three. So, that is a triangle composed of three line segments. Next, properties of a triangle. The first properties of a triangle triangle has three sides, three angles, and three vertices. So that is the first properties of a triangle. So as you can see, there are three sides, three angles, and three vertices. The second properties is the three angles of a triangle always add add up to 180 degrees so as you can see the measurements of the angles of this triangle is always 180 degrees or the sum of these angles of a triangle is 180 degrees the third property is the sum of the length of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third sides Fourth, the side opposite to the largest angles of a triangle is the longest side. So, the side opposite of these largest angles of a triangle is the longest side. So, as you can see, this is the angle. And the opposite side of this angle is this. So, this is a longest side. Okay, so these are the examples of a triangle. So different um, shapes, different different forms. Okay, but the sum of this um, every angle is 180 degrees. A polygon is a closed figure made up of a several line segments that are joined together. The line segments are called sides and do not cross each other. There are exactly two sides that meet at a point. So, sabi ko nga kanina, a triangle is also a polygon but it is a list of uh, sides. Okay? There are only three sides a triangle. So, many objects around us are representations of geometric ideas such as Shape. So, there are uh, so many objects that represent a geometric or a shapes. So, we have also a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral has more properties linked with it than a triangle. So, a quadrilateral is the most important and common type of a polygon. Yan. So, what is quadrilateral? So, a quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides. With four sides, that is the sides. Four vertices and four angles. So, that is an angles. Four. And the vertices. So, that is a quadrilateral. Four sides, four vertices, and four angles. Since the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 and there are two triangles in a quadrilateral, then the sum of angles for each quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So, kung ang triangle ay ang sum niya ng angle is 180 degree, the quadrilateral is double or two triangles which is 360 degree. 
So there are different kinds of quadrilaterals, but all have several things in common. So all of them have four sides. Pag sinabing quadrilateral, it has four sides. Have two diagonals. The sum of their four interior angles equals 360 degrees. Ano yung sinasabing have two diagonals? Say for example, this box. One, two. Okay? So this is a pair of diagonals. Itong patayo. And then this one. This is diagonals. So, that is quadrilaterals. So, any quadrilateral can be divided into two triangles as shown in the image below. So, if, pag meron tayo quadrilaterals, it composed or it divided into two triangles. So, we have here a rectangle. When we divide it, we have already two triangles so two triangles or 180 plus 180 is equal to 360 degrees so another example of a rectangle um, a quadrilateral is a, a square okay so a square has 360 degree so pag hinati natin siya in the middle we have two triangle okay also, we have a rectangle. A rectangle has also 360 degree, but when we divide it into two, we make two triangle. Next, we have also a parallelogram. Parallelogram is also a quadrilateral. So, when we divide a parallelogram, it composes two triangles so it has also 360 degrees angle then we have a trapezoid so pag hinati ba natin mag makaka form tayo ng triangle so let's see okay so we have two different kinds of triangle or different size of a triangle but the angle of this trapezoid is 360 degrees then we have, what is that? That is a rhombus. A rhombus is also a quadrilateral with 360 degrees. And then when we divide it into two, we form two triangle. Okay, next, last, we have a dart. So that is a dart. Dart is also a quadrilateral because it has four sides. Okay, four angles and four vertices. So, dart is composed also of two triangles. So, the measurements of this dart is also 360 degree. Okay, so let us have this exercises. Direction, right, true, if the statement is correct. But if it is false, change the underlined word to make the whole statement true. Write the correct answer on a sheet of paper. So, number one, a quadrilateral, quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides and four angles. So, the underlined word is four. Is it true or false? Of course, that is true. Number two, a polygon is an open figure made up of several line segments that are joined together. The underlined word is an open true or false of course that is true a triangle is a polygon with three sides and four angles so the underlined word is four is it true or false of course that is false this word na four that is three a triangle is a polygon with three sides and also three angles the number four the difference of the three interior angles of a triangle is always 180 degree. The underlined word is difference. True or false? Okay, that is false. Why? The difference, this is not a correct word. The correct word is the sum of the three interior angles. The sum, not a difference. That's why this is false. Then last number, all squares are triangle. 
Yes, correct. All squares are triangle because squares is made up of triangles. Next, fill in the blanks. To complete the statement, choose your answer from the words inside the box. Write the correct answer. So we have an angles, triangle, polygon, 180 degree, quadrilateral, and 360 degree. So let us answer. A polygon with three sides, three vertices, and three angle is called what? Okay, that is a triangle. A closed figure made up of several lines, segments that are joined together is called a polygon. The sum of the three interior angles of a triangle is always the sum of the three interior angles of a triangle that is 180 degree. Then a polygon with four sides, four vertices, and four angles is called what? A quadrilateral. And the sum of the interior angles for each quadrilateral is 360 degrees.